Are you guys ready? Are you ready to be an absolute degenerate in duel? You ready to watch some... Uh-oh. This matchup is not very, uh... Favorable for the idea that I'm doing. Oh, no! So, essentially... <laughs> what are these names, man? What are you guys coming up with nowadays? Really, like, I just fought a guy named Daddy or something like that, and now I'm against the Toe Goblin, dude? <laughs> That's a pretty funny name, though. So I'm going to show you how to be annoying in Smite. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. All it requires is a single item. And that item is... Da 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 da! You guessed it. Not Genji's. Gem of Isolation! On Kukul Khan, and then you sit under tower the entire time. And then the Toe Goblin gives up on his search for toes. Well, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm a pretty handy dandy day myself. Just been chilling. Was hanging out with the kittens earlier quite a bit. I'm trying to get them accustomed to downstairs because that's where all their toys and stuff are gonna go. Because those little buggers love to make a mess. Yeah, I hope you're staying hydrated. Oh, Alright, there we go. So yeah, the reason why this isn't very favorable is just most uh, gods that don't have jumps struggle can struggle very heavily against the mana. Can be very difficult. Just not being able to escape and stuff. Damn, this man is thirsty. Clear backs. He's on mids. Toe gobble. I gotta tell Trilly and them about this guy's name. Damn, you walk back into it? Why wouldn't you shell? That might kill. Maybe? Yes! Let's go! Sorry, I, was at the gym. I had a feeling. Alright, so we're back for full tier thaw. Like, full cooldown combined with gem. <laughs> Do you guys... Like, there's, there's a classic video from back in the day. I, don't, I think it was Pennsylvania that actually made it. Uh, when I was a YouTuber back in the day. Um, when I first started to make content, I was big. I was friends with uh, Pennsylvania and Gamerpon, who were like kind of like the big YouTube people on Smite at the time. Like they were larger than I was. Nowadays, obviously, we've our community's gone crazy, and you know, we so much has happened since, right? Oh, oh that killed! Wow, that must make like exactly the amount of damage I needed. Anyways, uh, I think it was Pennsylvania or GamerPawn, they made a video where they played Kuku Khan, and it's called, like, the longest game ever. Slow immunity is nice, though, for this matchup. But, like, the longest joust ever before it was called Duel. And they went Kuku Khan and just sat under that phoenix, like, for... It was, just, like, so long. They were against the Loki, and the Loki just could not end the game. It was like an hour and a half, a two hour long match, I think. And this man just sat under the <laughs> under the Phoenix in the Season 1 map, because there's nothing he could do about it, because the map is dog shit. There's no Boldyman or anything. So he just sat there, and poor Loki, like, I've never felt bad for a Loki before until that video. Yeah, the real OGs remember Gamer Palm. Uh, Pennsylvania, Shilaru. I still remember the story with Shilaru. This shit was so much fun. When he worked as an intern at high res and then, like, we partied with the devs or whatever. That's how I first met them, I think. Schmack, schmack. There we go. Keep farming and a farming and farming and a farming and Oh no. Okay. Okay. 
Alright, let's look at Rust Plate, then we'll start up our gem. Maybe get some percentage pen. I think would be ideal. Unfortunate. We don't have much kill potential, but I'm just trying to pressure it out so that we can maybe get that red buff. Maybe he doesn't have defense yet, so this is like ideal opportunity here. He's wasting mana. Ooh. That was a little cheeky. A cheeky toe goblin. Ooh, you should not have stopped, bro. It's not the play. I have shell too. Yes, I do. Oh my god, this thing is kicking my ass! <laughs> Jesus! I want to keep it aggro, so... Nah, whatever. Okay, well... On the bright side, he has, didn't surrender off of that. Which is surprising, considering I tried recording yesterday. I got another one. Dog shit games that I couldn't even get a record. I gave up. I don't ever really give up on recording, but yesterday I was just so pissed off. I was like, nope, that's enough of this. Okay, there we go. Buffs are down. So used to playing with Bancrofts, man. Makes me like overly aggressive. Okay, nice. You mind gobbling these toes, bro? Okay, we're just chilling anyways. We want gem online. The tumor has begun to form. Only get seconds here because it's 1350. Okay, and then I'm probably gonna go the anti heal one. Feels ideal. I'm kind of scared though. I know some people are just like, oh, we'll just build sprint. Build a sprint. If that Vamana goes like a single item that has to do with mobility, I am fucked. It's gonna stick to me regardless. I feel like power is usually the play against Vamana. If you don't have a jump. I mean, usually it doesn't work, and it's, it makes you sad. You know, sometimes your Vamana just ult the waves. You know? But watch out for those toe goblins. You just teleported out of that. Jesus, I'm sorry. This man, like, accidentally walks into every single ult. Oh my god, my stomach. I'm afraid to fart. This is definitely my favorite Cuckoo skin. Uh, like, some people said that they really like the Cuckoo Puffs skin. I don't understand it. I'm not a huge fan of that skin. What the fuck? Who the fuck is that guy? We got a shell. There it is. Oh, it kills. No, it doesn't. I was way off. Okay. Oh, I almost got him on the side! That'd have been hilarious! We'll go to Vine next, I'd say. I get Matrix to play me in Fighters. I'm gonna show him what's good. I just ranked up. I've been bragging, dude. I'm starting it a lot better. Which makes me excited. It feels nice to be motivated and passionate about pretty much anything, really, but. You know, whether it be a video game or a goal in life. If you're working towards something, you're engaging yourself. Ugh. Oh my god, he missed. I missed it all, too. Even with... 
My gem. <laughs> this is gonna be so annoying, I can already tell. I'm gonna be annoying. I'm gonna be annoying. I'm gonna be annoying. I'm annoying. Oh shit. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Okay, I need to hit a one, please. I can just throw my three under me, which is kind of funny. Uh, I don't think I can kill him if I do. Onk or anything. Yeah, the CC minion is old scares me for my gem. If he plays it appropriately, he could just fucking destroy me. Please tell me that's an Azzy. Please. Please, 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 please. That would be hilarious. Okay, there we go. Ooh, Matrix just hit me. He's out uh, eating right now, and he goes, Maybe if you hit a higher rank, then I'll play you. I sent him a winky face. I shouldn't have spoiled it. I think that just spoiled it for him. I kind of did that on purpose. But I'm just excited. I want him to know my rank. Oh my Jesus! Hit me with that jump scare, though. So, uh, we could go Chronos Pennant, and then, like, Ob Shard. It's a pretty basic build. Okay, for gem to actually work, I actually need to hit abilities. Fun fact. Which I don't seem to be doing. Oh my god, he's going Toe Goblin mode. Thank god, he could have committed to that 100%. Holy shit. He got scared by the Yonk. That's one thing that people don't take advantage of as much as they should. Is making people think that they can't take an engagement just based off of simple things. Like you proc an Onk. Or you activate your... Your thorns. And the other person gets scared and backs off. You can use that to manipulate people. I do it all the time. You pretend like you have more cards than you actually do. This one, sometimes when people see, uh, like, thorns or anything, they immediately assume that they have to disengage. But in reality, you can just thorns the bait someone away from you. Because <coughs> they get scared, like, oh, well, it's thorns, I shouldn't attack that. But if they kept attacking, I could have killed you. Cool that anyways. I do need to do something now, though. The later this game gets, the, the worse it gets for us, that's for damn certain. What a weird decision. What the fuck? Whoa, this man is teleporting. I'm not crazy. I thought it was crazy. Dude, I thought- I keep thinking that I've been going crazy because my mouse is starting to fail. I was convinced that, like, I was in my own head and I was just, like, paranoid that my mouse wasn't working. When in reality, I was just dog shit. But, it turns out my mouse is broken and it keeps skipping. It's frustrating. And I also wasn't wrong about the toe goblin fucking teleporting. On his search for toes. Ah, we're so close to the Chronos Pennant too, that sucks. Um, okay, I'll have to take his... Mm, I'm trying to think, is this worth the pursue, or should I get Chronos Pennant? I'm gonna get Chronos Pennant. I'll kill your ass. If I get hit anyway. Is that a hasten? That is a hasten. Oh god! Oh shit!
You'll never catch me. Where's that point? Slow immunity. But now. You could have walked out of that. I'm gonna bait his shell. Okay, I baited it. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe I did make the right decision by not backing. Okay, clear Phoenix. Should be able to get it. Still have another 25. Reds up. Okay, yeah, we're level 20. Need to end this soon. Like I said, mobility items get online and we're fucked. They can just stick to us like glue. Okay, Chronos Fennet and so let's see an hub shard. Which based on Venonis prots in general. Second zero hub shard too, which is good. Okay, I keep like getting ready to fart, but I'm scared. It's like one of those days where, you know... You know, you just you, you gotta be careful when you fart. Happens to everybody. Ooh, that's good DPS. Ooh, baby! Mm -mm -mm. Wow, this build is annoying. All I'm doing is pressuring the absolute shit out of him. Gem works surprisingly good with uh, Cuckoo's passive. Alright, Vamana, what's the move? Okay, dash in, bold strategy. Expect it. Ooh, that was scary. You see that? That was the power of late game. You see how that man stuck to me? Thank God! Thank fuck! He didn't hit level 20, dude. This game would have went 100% south. GG's Mr. Toe Goblin. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave the video a like. Channel subscribe. Have a good one, guys.